All right, YouTube, welcome back here to the 152 restoration. Um, hopefully people are liking these videos. People have been asking me about my bee videos, and there's not much going out with the bees because it's winter. So I'm working on my plane on the inside, and this will help anybody. I'm learning this as I go myself, but there's a lot of guys out there restoring their 150, 152s. So what I did is I put insulation on the inside to help, take the, to help keep the chill out just a little bit in the winter time. Do I really need it? No, probably not, but just got the insulation in. And what I've been doing, especially, like I said, this plane came from uh, Florida, so down in Florida there's a lot of corrosion. And that's what corrosion right there looks like. And you take this brush and you scrape it or you use a scotch Bright pad, get it all cleaned up. <clears throat> this part here is already done. So I gave it a quick coat of the primer. It's a zinc phosphorus phosphate primer. Yellow, obviously. It just kind of helps protect the aluminum, is what I was told. The mechanic here got me this can. He's to clean it up. I've got my annual, um, doing my annual, and when they pulled all this stuff out, he's like, you can do this yourself. You don't need us to do it. So just clean it all up, get a scotch Bright pad, and that little wire brush. You do not want to use a regular wire brush. Let me show you. You don't want to use that. That'll scratch the hell out of the aluminum. So you want to use this brush. You can find these things anywhere. What he was telling me about it, I wasn't sure what he was talking about. And then he's like, I'll go get you one. And he brought it. I'm like, oh, okay. You see these all the time. All the stores have them. So, But you want to use that for aluminum. You don't want to use a regular wire brush. It'll scratch the hell out of it. So anyway, scrape all, the, scrape all the corrosion off as best as you can. Get it cleaned up. Obviously, up here, northern Illinois, we don't need to worry about corrosion. As far as salt water, salt air goes. So that's what it looks like when you spray that stuff on there. Like I said, get yourself a can of this stuff. It's made specifically for, uh, obviously, aviation. And of course, anything, anything that says aviation on it usually costs three times as much. But that actually wasn't bad. It was like 18 bucks for that can. And hell, I got a, I got a lot left in that can. So I won't nearly use all of it. And I might just go ahead and paint... I'm gonna check with somebody for some of this stuff. I like to check before I do it. I mean, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. All it is is a yellow paint, just kinda of help protect the aluminum. So that's kind of the next step. Got the insulation in, got that painted. I'm gonna clean this part up next and get that one painted. Get some painted down here. I've been scraping, I've been scraping corrosion down here. So, and this is kind of what the inside is gonna look like color wise. There's all the it's called a warm gray. You buy all these plastics and you can paint this yourself any color you want. You just gotta use you just gotta make sure you use the right uh, paint. It's specifically made for this stuff. And when you go to buy it, when you buy the plastic, it tells you what paint to use. I should have made a video of that when I was doing all this at home in my basement. Let me show you. It's over here actually. This is the kind of paint you want to use when you're painting your plastic. Semi, this color coat, see it's a warm gray, but this is, this is made specifically. It's actually an automotive paint, and you can use it, I think, on carpeting. I even used it on my, on my visors, my sun visors for in here, which are sitting over on the table over there. And it's made for this plastic. It's made specifically for that plastic, and boy, does that go on nice. See all this right here? This has all been painted. It's all ready to go on. That stuff sprays on so nice. I love it. It's amazing when you buy good spray paint compared to just your old, cheap old normal spray paint. Even some of the expensive spray paints don't go on like this stuff does. It coats on this plastic beautiful. So if you're buying new plastic, we're doing the inside of your plane. You got to, you don't have to, but get that. Get this, get this paint here. This is what you want to use. It goes on really nice, it dries quick, and it gives it a beautiful coat. And there are so many different colors of it. So, just getting the inside work done. Next step is gonna be this, well, this whole mess here. All these wires and stuff hanging out. Those are all brand new circuit breakers, they're all put in, but they're loose. 
All the switches are labeled, ready to go. And I'll do another video on that. That's gonna be what this is here. That new panel, that's gonna go on. That's next. That's one of them jobs you get yourself psyched up for. It's like, okay, this is what I'm gonna start on today and take your time. One thing I've learned about, I'm, I'm the kind of person that has no patience whatsoever. But working on your plane, it teaches you patience because if you screw it up, it costs way too much money to get it fixed. These mechanics, 100, 100 plus an hour to work on this stuff. So, and if you can do it yourself, that's great. Just take your time. Just take your time. So anyways, this is what the inside looks like and the next step of the project here. Get this done. I'll get this part painted, let it dry. I'll get the carpet and start working on the plastic. I mean, yeah, the plastic sides. Gotta put the carpet in first. And the carpet is over there. I'll show you when I do the, I'll show you when I get to that. I've been using the shop vac to clean all that out. So anyways, that's it. And I, oh, and I did test my switches actually. I, I connected my battery. I did connect my battery earlier. Made sure the switches, everything is all working right before I unplug everything and put all the new stuff in. Cause them switches aren't real easy to get out. You almost gotta break them to get them out and then just buy new ones. So anyways, that's my story on the next step of the 152 here. So I will talk to you guys soon. All right, any comments, leave them. Hopefully you're liking these videos. Let me know in the comments below if you're liking them and plenty more to come. Like I said, when I get to the engine part, that's gonna be really interesting. They'll let me video. We got a beautiful engine shop here. So uh, hopefully that starts soon. So anyways, talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.